Hey guys, welcome to uh, today's video. So um, there is a new feature that was added to ZBrush 2023 and uh, I've never explored it. So it's a uh, option to snap objects to other objects and I just wanted to see uh, how it works. So let's take a look and see uh, what does it entail. So to get this going, what you need to do is you need to figure out which object obviously is snapping to which object, right? So in my case, I want to snap the smaller one to this larger one. So what you want to do is you want to go to move and obviously um, you guys know if you hold, if you hover over an object and press alt key you can um, toggle the selection right but if you let's say I want to select this one and I want this little one snapped to the middle of this one. How would I do that? So to do this what I need to do is I need to press Y on my keyboard. When I press Y you can see that the gizmo has changed to kind of this uh, older transform line. And now what I can do is I can just simply drag a line from this object over to this one. And as soon as you touch the top surface, you can see how it kind of jumps and uh, it's indicating that it's, it made a touchdown, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this and just let it go. So next we need to uh, find something called contact. And again, this is only available in ZBrush 2023 and higher. And what you want to do is you want to just press C1 for contact and then you want to do apply. And what that's going to do is going to take the little one and snap it to the uh, bottom larger one, but of course it's not aligned. So how do we align this? To align it, let's go to sub tool. Let's click on align. And in here we have a few different options. If I click on one, you can see what it's doing. It's actually moving the bottom object to align with the smaller one. I'm going to undo that. That's not what I want. I actually want the opposite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Alt to select the bottom one and try this one more time. And now you can see that the uh, the top one is being aligned, right? So I can figure out if I like if I want it in the center, if I want it on the edges. All right, so that's one way of doing it. And then from uh, this view, I can align it uh, a little bit better. So that's really cool, right? But the align is just one of the options of how you can al align something. Uh, another way of doing it would be uh, let me press uh, Y to switch to my other gizmo press Alt select uh, the smaller one and let's go ahead and recenter this pivot and let's say I want to align it but I don't want to use these uh, these guys. What would be another way of doing it? Another way of doing it would be is under geometry you have something called uh, position and position uh, has the X, Y and Z values for each subtool and in here obviously I don't uh, want to uh, change the height because I snapped it to the surface but I can certainly change the uh, X value and of course I can change the Z value. So that would be, an, uh, that this would be another way of aligning it. So you have a couple different options. All right, so uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, cool little trick and uh, this will allow you to quickly snap any subtool to the surface of another subtool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.